So I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, pushing. They're like, do you want to feel the head? I'm like, the head? Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel, Vibe with Lisa Monet. If you are a new subscriber, don't forget to uh, go ahead and stay tuned for this video because it's lit. If you're a returning subscriber, hi my babies. Thank you for tuning in for yet another video. Don't forget to watch it to the end. You know what's going on. On this channel, I do a little bit of everything. Cooking, twerking, makeup, hair, trending videos, challenges, anything. I'll do a little uh, couple videos to help you grow your YouTube channel. Just everything. So stay tuned and definitely don't forget to like, comment, share this video to all your friends and your family. All right, stay tuned. I'll see you. Hi, you guys. It's me again. About to record another video for y'all. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about mom life. From my pregnancy till now. My baby boy is going to be two in March. So I just want to get on here for all the moms out there, you know, give you some advice, some tips, how my journey was. So, um, stay tuned, definitely, and enjoy this video, okay? Today, um, it's a good day so far. I just woke up Saturday morning, made some breakfast and all that. But yeah, um, my journey as being a mom from pregnancy to now, um, I found out I was pregnant at four weeks, was out of town in Florida with hubby for our um, anniversary. And from that day, I found out I was pregnant when I took the test. Like a couple days later, I had morning sickness from hell. I swear, morning sickness was horrible. I just could not stop throwing up like, when I would eat, I just started feeling nauseous as heck. So pretty much, I had morning sickness my whole pregnancy. Um, what they do advise for morning sickness is Zofran, but sometimes they don't give it to you because they say it can cause birth defects for the baby, but I try not to take anything when I was throwing up and nauseous and all that, but after a while, you know, I just gave in and took some because I'm like, this is horrible. I hate throwing up. But yes, I had morning sickness like crazy. Um, it was just so exciting to watch my belly grow, feel him kick, you know, every appointment. Um, it was a little nerve-wracking because you're just a little nervous, you know, hoping everything goes well. But it's just all the appointments you go to, they calm you down. Like, I didn't really um, have any complications or anything. I basically was just chilling, eating, and the morning sickness phase. Pretty much, I had it my whole pregnancy. When I got um, bigger, it was just in the morning. Like when I woke up, threw up a little bit, and the rest of the day I was good. But yeah, that morning sickness, mm -mm, that's why I'm a little nervous to have another one because I'm yeah. like, it could be worse, better, but the morning sickness is for the birds, baby. But um, yes, just watching my belly grow, feeling him kick, talking to him, reading to him. Um, I didn't experience too much pain. I had round ligament pain. Um, basically just felt like a bunch of cramping, like like TMI, but kind of like some period cramps, something like that. But I just thugged it out. I didn't really take like any medicine or pain pills. I was just trying to be a G because I'm like, I know when I give labor, I give birth, I gotta try to thug it out. I ain't trying to be on all the drugs and all that, but Yes, so I had a little pain, and that pregnancy pillow gets you one. If you're pregnant right now, get your pregnancy pillow. I got that about, what, 20 weeks probably? It was like not, oh my gosh, like OMG, but it helps you a lot. You will feel a lot better sleeping. And I put pillows between your knees. I used to have like hella pillows going to sleep, laying on top of pillows. Especially when you get a little bigger, like once I hit 35 weeks, I was done for. Like, I was so over being pregnant. 35 weeks, I was so over it. But, you know, you gotta stay pregnant until you have your baby. <laughs> and I was just really all belly. People thought, they're like, oh, have you been pregnant before? Because you're big and you're showing. But I was having a boy. Like, I was just hella belly, round as hell, big as hell. But, um,. It wasn't horrible. That's why I'm like, I would rate it a um, 7 out of 10. Like I said, the pregnancy, 
overall was not horrible besides the morning sickness and like the um, pain I felt or whatever but it's bearable um, he came early so I had him at 38 weeks and two days um, my water had broke that morning and I just hopped out of bed and, like I was like I was peeing on myself I'm like what the hell I went to my sleep like, the, you know and then after that it just kept leaking and leaking and leaking so me and hubby was like okay let's get to the hospital so we on our way to the hospital oh yeah i did fast forward a lot but pretty much you know like if you're pregnant or you've been pregnant it's just you gotta be pregnant for 40 weeks total but i made it to 38 weeks because i was so happy it came early because when i would squat down it felt like he was gonna fall out that was scary as hell but um yeah so my water broke we went to the hospital i was in labor for how long was that i i don't even know it didn't seem like that long to me, but I think it was like two days. I don't know. But I just know she let me shower. She let me eat. And I didn't have him until the next morning, 10 o'clock in the morning. My overall experience with labor, though, it, was, it wasn't too bad. I made it to, um, what's it called? Five centimeters without the epidural. I was proud of that because I swear I always been so nervous about like being pregnant, having a baby, like terrified. I was like, I'm going to adopt, like, I don't know about all this. I was watching pregnancy videos, labor videos, and I was just like, this is a lot. And I was watching this when I was pregnant. But it was not horrible. Like I said, I got to five centimeters um, without the epidural. Once they gave me that, like basically, once they gave me the epidural, my like one side of my leg was like completely numb the other side I kind of feel it still like the side that was super numb just felt big as hell like it was like it just felt huge and the thing is I really didn't feel anything but I just felt a lot of pressure and it's crazy I was sitting there they gave me the epidural I was still having contractions during the epidural so they're like breathe like you know hubby was there the doctor was helping they was calming me down so I'm like like breathing I'm trying to get through the contraction I'm getting a big ass I didn't see it but my husband was like that needle was like this big I'm getting a big ass needle stuck in my back to stop all this pain but once I got the epidural I was just laying there like I said I felt a lot of pressure and then I can tell um it was time to push like they kept coming to check on me you know but I was like um I'm feeling a hell of pressure like I feel like I'm having contractions so they gave me a ball put it between my legs and that was supposed to like make him drop faster to where I can push. But it seemed like they gave me that ball. It seemed like a good 30, 40 minutes later. I went from five centimeters to 10. I told him, I was like, um, I'm feeling a lot of pressure. Like, I think he's he's ready. I think I'm ready to push. So they checked me again. They was like, oh yeah, you're ready, ma'am. You're ready, you're ready. So I was like, hey, okay, we finna do this. You know, I'm all nervous. It's still my first time being a mom and being pregnant, you know, so I'm like, okay like you know i'm i'm ready ready as i'm gonna be so it was probably like an hour later they come in all the nurses and they're like okay you ready to push and i was numb let's say my epidural actually worked thank the lord because all y'all moms who giving these pregnancies and doing the birth natural with no medication thumbs up because my pain tolerance is already at zero so i don't really know how i survived pregnancy and birth but thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank <laughs> because I don't know how it worked. But yes, yeah, so probably like an hour later, they come in there and they're like, let's get to pushing, get to pushing. So they're like, oh, do you feel the contraction? I was like, not really, but they had the monitor on my stomach and all that. So they was like, okay, that's the contraction. Push, 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 push. So I'm pushing, I'm pushing. But halfway through, I guess I was pushing for like an hour, hour and a half. That's what my husband said. But halfway through, they're like, do you want to feel the head? And I'm like the head so i feel it right i feel the head yo i almost passed out like, it was just super soft and like it creeped me out i was like oh my god this is too much but yeah they let me feel the head and then to the late i know it my baby's in my arms it was such a great experience i'll say if you are planning to be pregnant you want to start a family go for it it's you will survive it we we built for this ladies we are built for this do it please i say i'm thinking about having another one um but well, we'll see we'll see no time soon but yeah that's i'm like he was born pretty much um i did breastfeed for a month so when we was in the hospital those couple days 
I was putting him on my titty, pumping like crazy. And then um, me and my husband were just so excited. Like, you just feel like it's surreal. You're like, I really just went through all this pregnancy, giving birth, surviving contractions. You're like, I'm, I'm that B. I'm that bitch, you know? My bad. I've been trying to cuss on here, but I've been getting excited. But yes, I'm just so proud of myself. And his first birthday was like amazing. You're just sitting there thinking, like, his first birthday, I was just sitting there crying like the whole day. I was just like, he's really my son. Like, I always wanted kids, you know, but I was just nervous. But me and my hubby, you know, we got a pop and we was pregnant in like a month, but we was actually trying. So, you know, I wasn't too surprised when I found out. I was just like, oh, because I never knew if I could get pregnant. You know, some women can't get pregnant. Some women have like a lot of miscarriages. It's so much to pregnancy that when you are actually pregnant, when you're actually pregnant, it's a blessing. So yes, I'm just like, his first birthday was amazing. It's really not that bad being a mom, you know, you just be busy as hell. Like from when he wake up to when he go to sleep, it's a 24 seven job. Like it's really better than any job I ever had. Like currently I'm not working. I'm a stay-at-home mom with him, but any job I had, it's nothing compared to it. Like, it's a lot more work because I'm with him from when we wake up to when we go to sleep every day. So, it's a lot. Like, I got to wake him up, change him, new clothes, feed him breakfast, let him run around while I'm trying to cook, clean. You know, I'm a wife too, so I'm trying to do all my mother wifely duties all day running around. He take his nap. And I'm like, okay, let me go to sleep. But nine times out of ten, that's not gonna work. I'm up cleaning, trying to do YouTube stuff, doing some twerking videos for my um, dancing career that I got going on. It's just a lot, but I would not, I would not trade it for the world. Like I said, my baby's gonna be two in March, so I'm about to um, do Mickey Mouse thing for his birthday party this year. So I'm about to start buying the stuff for that. But my overall experience being a mom, I would recommend it. Hundred percent i would recommend being a mom or a parent vice versa because i know dudes watch my channel too so yes if you got some girl you got your wife go on have that baby yo go on have that baby i ain't saying i'm gonna have another one we might be one and done maybe we're gonna see but he finna be two we're finna get this party started and it's lit but yes to all the moms out there all the fathers out there shout out to all y'all doing y'all thing holding it down take care of these kids Cause it's not easy. It's not. I ain't even gonna lie. Some days I'm just like, mm, what I signed myself up for, you know. But just jokingly, clearly, I kept the baby. I didn't have no abortion, nothing. But I'm just like, what I signed myself up for? <laughs> this is a lot. I just wanna lay in bed all day. But you know, I, I pop up, and do my thing. I was born to do this, you know. Be a whole mom out here. But yes, to say anybody pregnant or expecting, congrats. You guys got this. The pregnancy journey is a little, a little rough because you're getting huge. At one point, I was just, like the last week before he um, came, I just sat on the couch. I was just like, uh-uh, because I worked till I was 37 weeks, I think. Yes, and I was working at Starbucks on my feet, working five, eight-hour shifts. So yeah, that last week, your girl was burnt out. But mom life is definitely amazing. Um, you guys don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you do have any questions, please drop it down in the comments. I would love to answer. But thank you guys again for tuning into my channel. See you guys next time. Bye-bye, my babies. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do definitely appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video. Subscribe, turn that notification bell on. And I will definitely see you the next video. Okay, you guys have a good day. Good night. Bye-bye, babies.